The British Snoring and Sleep Apnea Association, BSSAA, declared National Stop Snoring Week to raise awareness about snoring and sleep issues related to dangerous snoring. Snoring affects a large portion of the adult population. Long-term snoring can be an indicator of a potentially fatal sleep disorder known as obstructive sleep apnea in 4% to 10% of adults. Snoring and sleep apnea are two ends of the sleep breathing spectrum. Very, very... <laughs> So there's a day for that. In fact, it's a week <laughs> for it. You know, that's how serious it is. But wow. trust me, I saw I saw this there's this TikTok video that has been trending about four different types of people and how they snore. Mm -hmm. And they said one, okay, normal so and that one is like you are shifting like, the yeah. gears and you're going <laughs> you're going in and going up. And there's one that you are snoring and saying different things <laughs> with making different animal sounds. Mm. But trust me, being with someone that snores, sleeping with someone that snores a whole lot can be quite frustrating. Except for me, because I'm not a very deep sleeper, oh, I'm a yeah. light sleeper. Yeah. So any noise like that will just take the sleep away. Mm. I don't know, I think I snore sometimes, but I think I'm a light snorer, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, I, I think that people tend to, well, for most um, people, you know, who don't know they snore, and then people tell them it's probably. Maybe when you have congested nose, nose or you're so tired, you know. But um, I we, or I experienced someone snoring once, and honestly, I'm not even trying to be, <laughs> you know, to be funny. It was as if it, it was so scary for me because the it came suddenly, mm. and it was. So I felt like the person was literally being attacked, attacked. you know. And you know, I was trying to. Oh, no, but there's nothing. I say, eh, what is that? Is that snoring or what? Or something oh else, you know? So, really. For some people, I think, well, if they visit the, their doctor, you know, it might just be a problem with their... Mm -hmm. Yeah, the nasal, nasal, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, the airways yeah. and all of that. I also notice that if I'm so tired mm -hmm. and I sleep on my back, yeah. yes, that happens. Oh, that happens okay, to me a lot okay. as well. Mm -hmm. All right, you see? For me, snoring... <laughs> It's everything to me is practically relative. It's um I've heard of people, some people are of the school of thought that if you're sleeping with your loved one and your loved one is snoring, uh, it's like music to their ear, you know. <laughs> so it's 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 um relative basically. For some people, it's even if you're a light sleeper, they can just you know, so long as they're in love with that person, they can yeah. go through the whole night without even waking up but if it's somebody that they don't, don't really care about yes they can actually find it difficult to you know get some sleep mm. okay Jilla, what do you find for us in the news ah, okay so this is um a rather sad one i mean it's um outside the shores of this country though um sudan deaths mount mm. as army chief rules out talks to end fighting I mean, um, I think what struck me the most was the fact that, um, you know, the, the there's something here that says that the fighting entered its 60-day hours and after another truce unraveled with a crackle of fire. But, you know, one of the army generals is saying, I mean, the time for talking is over. Mm. You know, he's not even very sure he wants to have a sit down to find a way to, you know, resolve the, issue. the issues. And um, now we have reports that says that a lot of countries are evacuating their people. Their people yeah. So for me, I'm also saying that I hope the Nigerian government, you know, is also um, monitoring this event just in case there are Nigerians there, especially students, mm -hmm. you know, who would need this kind of eva eva evacuation. evacuation. Yeah. We're hoping that um, Sudan is able to resolve this quickly because um, war is never pretty. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always the innocents that just suffer. A lot of people have um, tried to flee, yeah. you know, the country and its displacement is such, is, I it's mean, it's such a sad thing, yeah. you know. So, um, I mean, this is it for me. I've been following this war, this mm. um, Sudanese war. As a matter mm. of fact, I was having a conversation with someone earlier today, and we're like, have you noticed how it is mostly 
the Islamic countries that mm. keep having these kind of situations. And I don't know why. It's just really sad because this is supposed to be like the month of peace and the month you of understand. reconciliation. And, and I think he not really got yeah. heated. I saw the, I was watching on um, Al Jazeera today and then I saw children. Yeah. Oh, I was heartbroken. Yeah. Yeah. See people with injuries and we're like, yeah. why? Why? Now yeah. I understand when you sing those songs where, where they say, let's live in peace and yeah. because the yeah. truth is, what is not it? I've never <laughs> experienced one. I don't even want to. It's not even, you, it's they, not you only know the beginning. Yeah. You just never can tell how you would it's escalate mm -hmm. quickly and it, no, 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 no. It broke my heart. When, I mean, when I came across this, I was just like, I mean, for him to now even say that he's not even interested mm. in peace talks, that's <laughs> You know, he's a man of war, he's not a man of peace. <laughs> okay, I think we have Glory now. Hi, Glory. Good evening, Glory. How are you doing? Hi, good evening. How are you? Very well. Hi, we miss you in the Hi, studio. Glory, though. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let's go right into it. Glory, what did you find for us in the news? My what's in the news is about um, creatives who are looking at joining the industry by wondering if it's the best step to take because they don't know if it's probably going to pay their bills or things like that. So it reads, Nigerian skid makers have been making waves in online video sharing platform, that's YouTube, with various dimensions of skits that have more views in the first quarter of 2023. It also listed the names of various skit makers, um, some of which are Sam Speedy, Mark Angel, Tauma, Brain Jota, and Sabinus. So it's just to say, like, if you're a young talent and you're looking at joining the industry and wonder, oh, is this going to pay my bills? This something is paying people's bills, making them live their best life. So it's not too late to take the first step. <laughs> I know, right? It's really beautiful to see how these people have grown. I mean, let's yeah. look at Sabinus, for example. Mm. In fact, the way his career has, he's now doing shows in London. And I'm like, wow, yeah. as a skit maker. People mm. need to laugh. I mean, There's too see, much trouble in the so world. Much. Someone sends me a meme today, and people are like, how do people even come up with it? I'm like, the country is yeah. too tough. We have to find <laughs> yeah. ways to ease our stress sometimes, yeah. Yeah. you know? Yeah. Very yeah. important. So if you are considering a Gloria has given a very good um, <laughs> suggestion. If you are considering a career in comedy, this is the time. Yes, so <laughs> <laughs> okay, you see what do you find for us in the news? All right, my story is just like that of the others, is a bit is uh, heartbreaking. Mm. It's not a palatable news at all. And it's um, about a boy who is fourteen that was sent to prison for defiling a 22-year-old baby, a 22-month-old baby. And it's so disheartening because this happened in Oyo State. Uh, the child is barely a year old. Now, why this story, you know, caught my attention was that the child, the baby is actually an orphan. And details on how this young boy actually got access, or teenager actually got access to this baby is not, was not disclosed in the story. And, you know, we can look at it from two angles, basically. And these angles are that, one, are the parents actually interacting with their teenagers or talking to them to let them know um, about sex education? How well are they learning things like this? Because I feel that probably if this young man or this teenager had been told about sex education, he wouldn't have gone ahead to defile a baby. That's number one. Number two is also looking at it from the perspective that now this teenager is also a young teen is being sent to the prison, the correctional facility. Was that a good decision to make in the first place? Because again, we all know what happens in correctional facilities. Things do not go according to plan. They won't treat him with kid gloves when he gets there. So would that make him any better? than when you got in, probably even worse. So two wrongs cannot make a right. Bearing in mind that this young child or this uh, teenager had done something, you know, dastardly bad, you know, it is important for us to also put in mind that we can't right the wrong by sending him to a correctional facility at the same time. There should have been another um, action that would have, you know, 
you know, sort that um, solution for him. I agree, you consider he's 14. But at 14, he's not going to be in the correctional, well, he's not going to be in the... He's not meant to be in the correctional. He's juvenile de yeah. delinquency yeah. now, right? Precisely. Yeah. But he was sent in, quote, prison. Mm. I see what you mean. So are they even allowed to try a minor? And you try it, I mean, mind. I would actually like to know the, the, yeah. the end of the end root of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, hmm. my story <laughs> is funny but not funny. Mm. I would say funny but not funny because I, I don't know if we have that video. Let's just let's watch let's yeah. watch the video first. Till end. <laughs> Tabati <laughs> 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 Abia, Umoya, Dada, Anna, Abi, Tate and Capita, Abia, Tango, Abia, Umoya, Adam, Adam, this is funny but very sad it is because i don't understand how <laughs> <laughs> Someone in the background was going to say allow sir. <laughs> and he said, I am. I don't understand. State and cap uh, see, this is part of what we're talking about. Responsibilities yeah. of a citizen. You know, we had this yeah. conversation on Monday. Yeah, Responsibility of a citizen. Mm. How can you not know the the states in your country and then you come out tomorrow and say you are a, <laughs> you are a Nigerian Nigerian youth? <laughs> we need to do better, <laughs> honestly. We need to do better because I don't know. And it's not, we, some people would say, oh, because it's on the street. There are a lot of, if you go into yeah. office, maybe our box we should try that sometime. Yeah. Damn it, yeah. take notes. You should try that sometime. Go into offices and ask people, state people and capital. People can't even sing um, the national anthem. Uh, That's sure the truth. That they don't even know I mean, the national pledge. Yeah, the pledge. Yeah. Please, it's, it's very important because it is part of our responsibility of our, or our mm. citi citizen rather to be familiar with your country's constitution, the national pledge, the national anthem. Know your country, know the states in your country. Like, mm. yeah. is that too much to ask? Anyway, take it. Easy. I'm I'm so pained <laughs> because as a teacher mm. that I am, <laughs> I can't imagine yeah. a child not knowing. No, yeah. ah, no, no, no. We really, we really. To do better, guys. We really need to do better. Anyway, we we'll get to into break. God help us. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. But beyond God, now we also need to help ourselves yeah. as well. We yeah. need to. That's why. That's why I'm hammering on. We actually need to do better. But yeah, I can't wait for us to get into our conversation for tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, let's take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll continue the conversation. <laughs> 